So why is the universe or God not listening to your prayers? And I'm not here talking about religion. I'm here to explain why your manifestations are not coming through. And you pray and you get into it and you ask and every day before you go to sleep or in the morning, you connect and you go on your knees and you ask for it for whatever it is that you want and nothing happens. And it's not that you're praying wrong, but this whole time, you're not truly accessing your power. And what I mean by that is that when you pray and you're asking for something, because you're asking, you are reaffirming that you don't have. Therefore, your mind is still in the problem. So I'm gonna say that again. When you pray and you're asking, you're reaffirming that you don't have. Therefore, your mind is in the problem. But there's a big difference from when you pray and you're grateful as if it was already real. So why do we call it like a quantum prayer? Because your feelings are gonna, your, your thoughts, when you change your thoughts, it's automatically gonna change your feelings. So instead of like asking and, and you switch that to being grateful, you're automatically gonna change your feelings. And when you change your feelings, you change the molecules of your whole body. You change the cells, everything changes and you start to give or change your electromagnetic signature. So, um, let me just sit here. Instead, let's say you have a health problem. Instead of saying, God, please, you know, give me health, help me cure this illness, you are reaffirming to your body that you're not healthy. And the key here for manifestation is be to then have it and not have it to then be it. So instead of being like, God, please, you know, give me health, help me cure that. You have to visualize you're already walking, you're already healthy. You already have that blessing of being healthy in your life. So, um, when you pray, really connect and access the future version of you that is already healthy, that is already whole and complete. Because we have um, infinite possibilities waiting for us to choose from. It's like life has a menu and we can choose from for whatever we want to um, to manifest in our lives. So, when you start to live that moment on your prayers, your mind doesn't know the difference. And you are gonna send a different electromagnetic signature. Therefore, that is gonna start to shift things around you and inside of you as well. Um, let's say, for example, you have a lot of financial debt. Instead of saying, God, please help me to get through this month. Um, help me to make more money. Help me to manifest more money. You should say, uh, God, thank you. Thank you for all my bills being paid. Thank you for all the abundance flowing into my life. Because if you keep asking, God, please, please, I need help. I need help. Like, I don't know how I'm going to pay next month, but I trust you, but I trust you, right? What are you doing? God, I'm in lack. I don't have anything. How am I going to get through this? And although you might have a lot of faith in God and you, you know, and God does miraculous things for us, um, your manifestation is much, much slower versus you saying, thank you. Thank you for providing me. Thank you for sending me all these right opportunities. Thank you for um, sending me all these business opportunities. It's totally different because the lack is not 
in your energy anymore. The lack is not your vibrational signature anymore. So your power of co-creation is not on the problem, is not on the lack, but is on the infinite possibilities that we all have available, uh, you know, to choose from. So when you choose the way you are praying and the way you are asking the universe and your way you are connecting with the universe, when I say universe, it's the higher power, you know, God, universe, higher power, divine intelligence, it's all the same thing, but we can call it different names depending on your faith. But um, yeah, see, if when you access and start doing this type of prayer, you're gonna see amazing shifts, uh, shifts, not shift, shifts <laughs> into your life happening. And get ready because it comes fast. When you learn how to connect with the source and change your vibration, vibrational signature, you are like a magnet and it is true, whether you believe in it or not, we are magnets. Uh, and it's not just law of attraction, it's not just attracting. We are magnet based on, you know, our electromagnetic signature and our emotions, our vibrations. So it's a little bit more complex than just thinking positive. But once you know how to connect with the source and you know how to align your power of co-creation with the creator, get ready because I'm telling you guys, it's insane the amount of things, the possibilities that you can leave and choose from. Um, and that's why we're here for because we experience that in our lives and we want everyone to be able to experience that in this lifetime. You don't need to be suffering. You don't need to be struggling whatever problem you have, majority of people have financial issues, you don't need to be struggling, or relationship issues, you don't need to be unhappy, you don't need to be, you know, trying to find your soulmate, it's not that hard, life is not that hard, and once you understand that, it's beautiful, so if you, um, if you don't, sub if you're not in our channel, uh, make sure you subscribe and hit the like button and comment here your biggest insights. And I want to I want to ask you to change the way you're praying for at least 14 days. And then I want you to come back here on this video and comment below the changes and the the things that start happening in your life and the shifts that shifts <laughs> that start happening in your life. And I want you to comment here so. Because uh, I want to hear you guys' stories.